Hey, welcome back to Over Our Living. <laughs> so I got a new phone uh, because I damaged my other one. Uh, you may watch our other channel, uh, the Arkansas Weekenders channel. I do that for fun. It's not the same stuff as we do here on the Homestead channel. Anyway, so I messed up my phone on one of our trips. Uh, I lost the videos and everything. Got a new phone now. And uh, so the videos might look a little different. They might film a little different. They feel different. This this camera's different. It's supposed to be better for videos and pictures and stuff. We'll see. So anyway, all that being said, I'm in the garden. My game plan today uh, was to get up this morning and get to it. I had about 20 things I wanted to try to do. Granted, I would have not been able to do them all. But I wanted to get started with some things. And uh, I rolled over. And at breakfast time, I realized it's Father's Day. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't got nothing done today. Uh, we had breakfast. We had uh, the older kids came home for lunch. And we had a good time visiting with them and the grandbabies. Um, went after and visited with my dad for a little while. And now I'm home. It's probably 6.30, 7 o'clock now. Uh, you can see uh, my garden's a mess. I haven't got done anything. Last weekend, the grass was so tall in here that I actually mowed it. Uh, this is the bell pepper row, but I'm trying to show that the grass is shorter, even though it was a week ago, so it's really not. <laughs> so we do a little, uh, we can do a little quick uh, highlighted tour of the garden. And I guess this week after work, I'm going to have to get out here and really do something to it because it's about to get taken over by weeds. It's just going to be a, a weed garden. <laughs> so I'll spin it around. We'll show off some, some of our, for our vegetables and our rewards for our work. So this is our bell pepper row. Uh, this little bell pepper's been growing for a couple weeks now. It's doing really good. We look down through here. I gotta get, I'm sorry, I gotta get used to this camera and the angle. My other one was so, I was so in tune with it. And here's another one I thought we had. Uh, where is it at? Oh, it's down there. So down there. There's another little bell pepper growing. We're excited. We really do eat a lot of bell peppers. Or if we don't eat them, I eat a lot of them. My wife cooks with a lot of them. <laughs> and so these that are hiding in this cage, get off me grasshopper. I just got this cage sitting here. So these are the ones that we bought from Sam's and we ate the bell peppers and we decided to save the seeds. We planted them and it looks like they're growing pretty good. I don't know if they'll put out any fruit, but we will see. Next row, uh, we have our snap peas. They're coming in. I believe they're snap peas. Some of them. They look pretty rough. I think they're getting too much water. Um, some of them are looking good. Some of them are not looking good. Some of them are gone. We planted these on the fence last year. Come on, work with me. Along the fence row last year. And uh, this year we decided to go ahead and put them in here. I don't know. They did better over there last year. These are seed saved seeds though. And so this is what we grew from what we had saved last year. And they were doing good. And we've had some rain, we've had some heat. They've come and gone. Uh, we planted seed safe cucumbers. They didn't seem to take very well. I say they didn't. I don't think I gave them time. We did go buy some starters and I planted a few starters. And you can see the cucumber plants are coming on with it. Not so much down here. Uh, I don't know if I talked about it in a previous uh, video. We've had so much rain. I ended up having the girls just come out here and play in the mud. And they kind of created a little ditch to run off all this water that comes off this hill. So I had them run a little just foot stomp a little ditch right through here and it runs off on down the hill and so uh sorry i don't mean to make you dizzy but there's a lot of water down there a lot of water down there and things you can see and i'll show you the tomatoes every tomato plant has a tomato on it but some of them are just puny and up here i'm assuming we have better dirt because everything up here is trying to grow well our garden, another thing I've noticed the last couple of weeks, our garden is not looking like everybody else's. Everybody has great big old full bushy gardens. 
and our garden is just not full and bushy but i believe that's because we seed saved and uh we tried to plant our own seeds maybe we should have done a row of ours and a row of store-bought or whatever you know however you do that but so some of these cucumbers came back from where i planted them uh, from seed saves i didn't give them enough time some of them were the ones that we replanted and some of these are just weeds that i really need to get on top of and i apologize uh, this is a row of beans that we planted they're coming along they're doing okay uh, the tomato plants you can see every tomato plant has a tomato let's see if i can zoom in isn't that cool got cool new features every tomato plant every single one of them has at least one tomato on it so it's doing its job some of these are doing really well and we're gonna have us uh, some tomatoes here pretty soon I'm looking forward to that I'd like to have enough to get plenty canned up because if you watch our channel you know we can them when we can we can can and we'd usually go if we don't have I'm sorry I'm not getting good footage again the camera's different We'll usually go to a farmer's uh, to the farmer's market or something and buy the canning tomatoes and can those if we can't get enough. This year we might get enough. I don't know. We're going to see. And so uh, that's a little quick run of the tomatoes. This area here is supposed to be squash. We had a big old storm and I think it pushed some of our beans over into our squash row. So if you see here, we got beans and then squash. So they're real, all really close to each other. But the beans are supposed to be over there. And they're doing okay over there. And the mice have been coming out here and trying to put uh, put cages and stuff up for them to climb on. I've been lazy. I need to get after it. But uh, So we've got some beans coming up, if you can see them. Maybe waiting too long on those. I'm going to have to pick those. I may get out here and pick them right now, right after I'm done with this video. And then... You see our ornamental corn. There's nine plants all together. That's the biggest one. It's not doing great. The guy up the road has corn that's taller than I am already. It looks great. But he's got just a whole garden full of it. I don't know that he's planted anything else. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So the corn's doing okay. The okra's growing in there somewhere. Uh, our sieve sate okra didn't take. I don't think, I think one or two of them may have. And then we came back and planted a few starters because I, I love okra. I'm about the only person in the family that eats it. So uh, we don't need a lot, but I went ahead and planted some. There's a look at our, what's left of what actually grew from our corn. What else we got here? The, uh, another little row of beans, all saved from last year's. And I think the yellow means that they're getting too much water. I know, Haunted, I know you're out there. I know you can tell me probably what's wrong with it. There's so many people that help us out and they tell us things. I love that. So comments are definitely welcome. I think yellow means they got too much water. I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> but we're getting, we're getting lots of water. And then, of course, we planted uh, watermelons. And so we planted watermelons that we saved and then we went and got some starters because we didn't see them coming up and you see there's two right there beside each other pretty sure one of them was a seed saved starter and the other one was a store-bought and there's a few of them whoop whoop you around there there's a few of them down through there that are uh, that are growing this one i know for a fact this little guy right here is a seed saved one it was the only one that i saw at first and for some reason, everything on this side of the garden is doing better than everything on that end of the garden. So, that's a quick little tour of the garden for today. It's terrible looking. I feel bad. <laughs> I need to get out here and work on it. Here comes my little tough daughter. My little daughter, my little baby. She's such a little baby. You been beating up on the dummy? Yeah. Did you hurt yourself? You're not supposed to hurt yourself when you're training yourself. I didn't hurt myself. No, but you're bleeding. Yeah. And? You hit too hard. She hits too hard, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, I don't think we're going to go down into the orchard. The orchard's about the same. It needs to be mowed. Uh, 
not a lot of fruit this year. We had the fruit at the beginning of the year and I think the deer got it or a raccoon or something. What else can I talk about? Not much, chickens are doing good. They're, they're happy, they're healthy. Uh, they explore a little farther out in the woods than I'd like them to, but they're fine. I mean, they come home every night. Uh, they're actually put up now already because I, when I went into town, I didn't know if we'd come back early or late. You know, sometimes I go to dad's and stay for 10 minutes. Sometimes I go to dad's and stay for hours. So I went ahead and put them up for the night, for the evening. And they have plenty of daylight left. I think today's supposed to be the longest day of the year, sunlight-wise or whatever. But that's that. Um, kind of a slow weekend. It rained today. Well, nothing really. It did? It rained today, yes. It rained before we left. So yeah, I didn't get nothing done today. Pretty much worthless. Uh, spent time with my kids. I guess that is something worth bragging about. Haha, <laughs> I got to spend time with my kids. Y'all didn't. But, thought I'd check in real quick. Uh, was this like a 10 minute video already of me blabbing? I just wanted to say hi and I think I just saw a mouse. And uh, that's pretty much all I got. Y'all you know, got any suggestions or hints or tips with the garden, uh, with the yellow flowers especially? Let me know. You know, I, I love, uh, I love uh, feedback. And the phone, the new phone is different too. Everything looks looks different. It gets a bigger picture and things are in different spots. The camera's not where I'm used to it being. Usually I do it differently, but it's way over there now. So, <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> oh yeah, there is one more thing I wanted to add. This grape, uh, this, this, grapevine here we thought was dead it made a comeback this grapevine has grown probably five or six feet no, no, no. don't let me lie to you now this grape this grapevine has grown a good three to four feet in the last week it is just sprouted out there this grapevine we discovered last week or maybe the week before we were not expecting this it has grapes on it Look at that. Little grapes. Don't touch them. I don't pick them. You got some little grapes. I don't know if you follow SK or not, but she told us that we should uh, get some, some pantyhose and put on it in case we had predators to cover them up. And I actually had the wife pick up some pantyhose, and I just haven't got out here to cover them up yet. And that's me procrastinating. I need to go do that. So that would probably be something else I'd do here pretty soon. So, all right. Now I'm done. Ha, ha, ha.